Hello, hello. How are you? I hope you're good. I'm here to briefly talk about my December reading plans. You may know that I have just recovered from like a two and a half, three week flu and I woke up today feeling again not the best. So I'm just, if I sound a little bit weird or my energy is not quite there, it's just because I am terrified that I'm gonna get sick again. Hello, Editing G here. Hilariously, I did end up getting sick. I had a massive fever the night after I filmed this, so it's hilarious seeing all the signs and how low my energy is, and I'm just in denial, but I'm feeling better again, so anyway. The light fall reading plans, because for the rest of December, December before light fall and December after light fall, uh, which by the way starts on the 9th and finishes on the 17th, so anywhere around that i'm gonna be trying to defeat this monstrosity of a book this is the fourth installment in the stormlight archive which was our patreon plan to catch up with the series in 2023 so we're we're getting there we're almost there a thousand two hundred pages or, or something with like thin thin ones <laughs> i'm not planning on reading anything around that and if i happen to have time i will just take something whatever i feel like uh but outside of lightfall this is my plan this is the entirety of my plan i'm very excited for us to pick what we're reading uh, in 2024 i don't normally pitch it but <laughs> if you are interested in patreon it is always linked in my description often do reading and productivity and hangout sprints and those are available for everyone so it's just it's just link there if you want to try it for lightfall this year i am really so not strict about what I'm gonna read, more so how much I'm gonna be reading. I have set up a um, plan for every single shop, but I absolutely don't need to visit every shop. But I wanted to have an option and I'll see how I feel at that moment. I have a variety, really a big variety of genres, I think, in, in this little um, setup. So we're gonna be covered, I think. So in somewhat random, order let's start with the owl cat cafe because this is a new one and i'm very excited for this one the prompt was to listen to an audiobook whilst you do something with your hands like craft something so i'm probably gonna be crocheting likely going to attempt to do a winged stoat from our animals but um if you have any other ideas for me to try and crochet let me know in the comments because we'll probably try and do that with the with some sprints as well, I don't know. But I love listening to audiobooks while I have something to do with my hands, otherwise I, I'm one of those people that just can't really listen to an audiobook if I'm not doing anything, but I equally, annoyingly, can't listen if I'm using even a little bit more than just bare minimum of my brain, <laughs> because then I just focus on what I'm doing rather than what the book is saying. But anyway, my pick for this is the no-show and the rationale is, first of all, I normally have quite a good time with the audiobooks of this author's book, apart from the one that I read in November, which is in the vlog. Um, don't know which one's going first, but then the other reason is because I really want to, for some reason, this would probably be the only author, which is so random, but I am quite caught up with their releases and I kind of want to keep that. It's same with like Blake Crouch, like I just kind of want to keep it um i don't know if i read their backlist but like just for the stuff that's coming out as new um and this is the only one that is left so this would be the fifth book that i read by the author and i kind of want to see how this one fares have not been like obsessed with a lot of them and so maybe this one's gonna be the one that kind of breaks the spell a little bit i want to say it's a lot it's about three people who all want to go on a date or some sort of arrangement with this man but the man is a no-show and i don't actually know how they interact with one another i kind of don't want to get spoiled full new novel about dating and waiting and the ways love can find us so it's like a hopefully somewhat easy romance with some slight deeper topics sprinkled in there for shits and giggles and that is pretty much what i'm looking for i think i would like to be like caught up with that so because that one's an audiobook i feel like i and i will want to crochet something that's probably one of the safest ones to say that i will read that then just before filming i have gone on to our 
Patreon Discord and I asked people to send photos of their plans for reading. So I'm just going to open this and see if I can steal something that I've been wanting to read or not. Okay, so first we have this slide and I can see Sheets on there, which is our Patreon read. So I actually do need to read that. So that's probably gonna be it. <laughs> oh, Bookshops on Bone does. I did not know that that's coming out. No, I didn't know, I'm lying. Then we have, Oh, a Marvelous Light. I have heard a lot of good things about that. Oh, a Marvelous Light again. Some Terry Pratchett. I could always use that, but I don't think... I think I'm gonna go with Shades just because I have to read that either way, so that makes perfect sense, and I'm glad that someone has included this. This is a graphic novel. We're kind of mixing it in this time for the book club. It's, it's a YA one, and I think it is about an unlikely friendship between uh, this girl that has to run a laundromat. Also, a ghost. <laughs> so I think it's somewhat paranormal, but I think it's mainly about the message that it sends. Seems like a really beautiful pastel artwork, and I'm quite excited to delve into this one. For Wallace's wonderful winter animals, the prompt was snow or ice on the cover. And honestly, I've gone through my shelves and I realized that that is much harder than I thought than I thought it would be. So I found a couple, but some were like more thrillery. And I felt I've just finished Station Eleven, and it really put me in the mood of kind of social commentary, more so literary. Uh, I was looking at my list of things that I want to read in general, and I didn't have the physical copy of this. I do have it coming my way, but I want to finally go and read Bear Town. I feel like this year I have not read a single Beckman's books, and I really, really, really like like this author's work. I have specifically heard really positive and amazing things being said about this book but because of the topic matter i wasn't quite sure if and when is a good time to delve into that i might i might try it just because it's just been so beloved and so highly recommended that i feel like it is time and if it gets too much, I can always put it down and come back to it another time. So we're gonna attempt, we're gonna attempt. All I know is that it is about a small town and the small town dynamic and uh, sexual assault. So, you know, it's funny because I think it's a lot to do with a hockey team in that town, which I feel like if you've seen stuff in the book sphere, hockey romance was a massive thing, but this is like far away from that, I think, as you can get. <laughs> So it's just it's just funny because it's like the same kind of like theme, but it's gonna be very different So that one's also quite high on my list, but I'll see how brave I'm feeling <laughs> We had the last book that I've added to my TBR. So this one actually uh, my Goodreads is an absolute mess it, it nothing is in order there. I don't have my current books that I got uploaded there It's just it's just a mess I need to literally like wipe most of it and just restart because it's just not well not all of it But you know, you know what I mean? But I do keep a different list if I remember to. So the last one from that list that I added there was this random book that I saw somewhere and it uh, piqued my interest because it rang a little bit similar to the Midnight Library and I really hoped for the best <laughs> of that one and I didn't love it apart from like the first 50 pages and this one is a fairly short book as well so that's fantastic for the for the you know week-long readathon and it's called a, a short stay in hell but it's basically about a man who believes that he's going to go he's going to meet god after they die but when they die they're being placed in a library that contains every single book and the only way to escape that is to find one about his life and I'm intrigued to see what sort of message it, it, it sends and what sort of ponderings we read about. And, and obviously anything afterlife still falls into speculative. So, and speculative is the little subgenre, sub bit that is my favorite. So I thought, why not try it? If anyone has read this one, please let me know so I kind of know what to expect and what you thought. Now for the All Tales bookstore, the prompt is to read a book that you've wanted to read but haven't had a chance. And honestly, there are so many that I could have fit into this. But the main ones that um, I did want to read this year, I kind of read. And the ones that I didn't manage, um, thinking like Shadow Cabinet, I just, I am waiting for the right time and it's not the right time yet. So I have decided to go with Ascension. Um, again, a little speculative weird time book. Going up a mountain that mysteriously 
appeared in the middle of like a like Pacific Ocean or something like that. And the, the higher the expedition goes, the weirder things get, like the time works differently and, and that bit got me. <laughs> I've seen so-so reviews on this one, so I don't have like the highest expectations for it, but it just seems like it could possibly be a good time for me, you know, like maybe not objectively, but I could have a good time with it because of the tropes. So um, if I do, this one is maybe not the highest on my list, but if I do get to it, I'm very excited to see what I think of it too. And then the last one would be for our occult premonitions for which I do need a tarot deck so then I can do the thing and I've not done the thing. So let me, let me get that. Okay, cards acquired. Ooh. Oh, damn, it has a hill that would have been perfect for ascension. I could swap that for something, but that would be slightly cheating. We have, um, well, like, we have an animal as well, we, which we could just set as an animal. We have some bags, we have luggage, we have a skirt, we have a girl, we have some lanterns, we have some grass. So, we have a lot, we have a lot, but let me, let me search for something that wouldn't be too much <laughs> to top it up. Um, honestly, it wasn't too hard. I think I want to continue with Rat was the inertia from reading the previous <laughs> um, volume carries so I don't lose my momentum. So this is volume seven and obviously has girls on the cover. So that kind of fits. I think this is yet again a different artist for it. That's pretty though, I like that. Um, so I'm intrigued to see what happens. I'm not like, in, you know, extremely hooked, but I do want to carry on. And I feel like whilst I have that going, I'm just gonna go and put that in. Plus it's a comic, so hopefully, you know, I can actually squeeze that in, which would be nice. So these are my plans for reading. I would love to hear yours. Let me know if you have read anything from my list and what you thought of it so I can adjust my expectations. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited to be Oh, jolly <laughs> with you excited for the sprints excited for just like reading together um thank you for participating if you are and i will see you in the next one bye